Welcome back friends. I wanted to kick off today's video with a little shopping haul and just kind of mix things up, keep it fun and fresh. I picked up this beautiful new piece of art at TJ Maxx for just $24.99. I also grabbed this new multi-surface spray for my kitchen. I was running really, really low and I also got this dish soap. Both of these smell so amazing. We're going to be decorating with those in my kitchen today. Also picked up this air fryer liner. It is like a silicone material and it's just so much better than having to wash the basket every single time I cook. I also picked up a couple new spring items, which we're gonna put out in this video, but definitely not pulling out all my spring decor quite yet. But with these prices, I had to add them to my cart. I also picked up this candle. It was from Ross. I just thought it was so pretty and also in this video, I show you guys a new candle warmer that I got from Amazon and I needed a candle from for that. So I picked up a few other odds and ends, some tissue paper and then these pretty nails. I love doing my own nails at home and then another little trinket to decorate with on my shelves. So I wanted to show you guys where I'm thinking of putting this piece of art, not totally committing. So I'm going to leave the tags on in the packaging just in case I want to return it. But pretty sure it's by the same artist of the other piece that I just picked up and decorated with on the other side of my shelving. I really quickly wanted to introduce you all to my sweet friend Justine. She has a channel a lot like mine here on YouTube and her channel is called A Cleaning Affair. She is a realistic working cleaning mama. She's in Kentucky. They are a military family. So they somewhat recently moved into this house and their home is so beautiful. They do a lot of um, cleaning and DIYs and decorating a lot of mom life and just a lot of relatable content i love following along on her fitness and health journey as well so if you guys don't already subscribe to justine i will have the link to her channel down below i will link her instagram as well i love chit chatting with her over there she's just so sweet and kind and i'm so happy that we cross paths she's just a breath of fresh air here on the YouTube platform. So if you guys are here from Justine's channel, I'm Katie. I'm in Southern California. I'm a boy mama of two. My boys are 10 and 11. We are a homeschool family. This is our first year homeschooling. We absolutely love it. We're also a law enforcement first responder family. And um, I don't talk about that too much, but just to kind of give you guys an idea of who we are. And a lot of the times I'm here just momming it solo, trying to hold down the fort and just keep a nice home for my family. Lots of cleaning, decluttering, organizing, decorating, DIYs, a lot like Justine's channel. We also have a dog named Ruger. You guys will see him a lot through this video. And I am a horse mama to my horse named Tex. You guys see him every once in a while as well. But if you like to see more of him, definitely follow me over on my Instagram. I will put my handle here on the screen. This is my new candle warmer. This has been in my save for later cart on Amazon for so long, you guys. And it's just $24.99. I don't know why I waited so long to pull the trigger. This lamp is so cozy and homey and so beautiful. I love it so much. I'm so glad that I finally pulled the trigger and got it. And I set up my new candle under here along with this sweet little bunny. I also picked up this round table from TJ Maxx. Um, I don't think I'm going to keep it right here because it's a little lower than I wanted it to be, but I do like the table and I have other places that I can use it in my house for sure. So not hundred percent that that's going to stay there for right now. So I'm just setting up my warmer so I can enjoy it in the meantime. I also wanted to share with you guys my Disney find. I love this marble soap pump. Um, we are Disney pass holders. We only live like an hour from Disneyland. Um, and we were just there the other day and I brought this soap pump home. I thought it was so cute. It is just a touch of Disney and subtle and just goes along with all the other beautiful decor that I have in my house without being like cheesy or anything like that. So we're going for function and this is the year of getting things that you like people. Let's stop trying to be 
so perfect and aesthetically pleasing and boring let's show our true personalities and this soap pump i feel like is a way that i'm able to do that we're also going to be setting up my new spray and my dish soap with a candle and a sponge and making everything of course still practical and functional while still making it pretty Since we're in the kitchen already, we're gonna go ahead and finish up in here by wiping down the counters and doing some dishes and just getting caught up on things around the house. We did have a social engagement at the end of this day and anytime I go somewhere, I love to come home to a nice, clean, calm space. And so I was just trying to stay ahead and check things off my list and then I could go get ready later this day, pack and then go enjoy ourselves and then just come home to a space that we can veg out and relax. This is also coming up on Super Bowl weekend. I wasn't sure if I was gonna be entertaining or anything like that. So I figured better to just be prepared. And at the end of the day, no matter what happened, I would at least have a clean home. So I just took a couple hours of this day and just got caught up on whatever needed to be done. But my, as I mentioned, this year, is the year of being you and showing your unique uniqueness and not everything has to be neutrals put color in your house do what makes you happy put things in your home that represent you and your family i'm trying to figure out like the best way to explain it without being confusing and i love that so much so I wanted to kind of share with you guys how I'm falling in love with my house again. I feel like every time I blink, somebody is, we're moving, we're building a custom home, we're doing all these things, when I don't think that's always the case for a lot of people. We've been in our home for six years, it's actually the third home that we've owned, and we've pretty much been in every single house for at least five years, and we have no plans to move. I'd rather stay where we're at and just continue to do things to this house instead of moving because let's be honest every time i move i say we are never moving again it is so much work so i really wanted to focus on pouring in a lot of love into this home that we're in and we've done so much already obviously this is an exception of military families and stuff like that where you don't have a choice like you go where they tell you to go but um, just like a normal everyday person like me, I want to put down roots and just be happy and content with where I'm at. And I wanna put that message out there. Don't let the internet fool you. Don't let people put on this front like, you know, they don't have any problems. Their kids don't misbehave. They don't argue with their spouse, yada, yada, yada. That is not the case for everyone in real life. Real life is happening to each and every one of us and i just want to do my best to remain honest and relatable for you guys and so i really wanted to share a lot of that in today's video so instead of listing our house and moving we're just going to continue to make it our own As I mentioned, we were coming up on Super Bowl Sunday as I was filming this, and this is probably going up on Super Bowl Sunday, so I have to ask, who are you guys rooting for? I'm not a huge football person, but I will say the Super Bowl is always a lot of fun to watch. I just love the energy and the excitement, and who doesn't love a funny commercial and a great ha halftime show? I am a 90s kid. I graduated high school in 2004. I am so here for Usher. I love Usher. So I'm so here for this halftime show. But let me know who you guys are rooting for in the Super Bowl. Like I said, I'm in California. Go 49ers. Um, but really, at the end of the day, I just hope everyone has fun. <laughs> It's so dang beautiful out. We have been getting so much rain, you guys. We've had to keep draining the pool. But I wanted to share with you guys, there's a reason I'm coming out here. So, I'm gonna flash on the screen 
what we're thinking, but I think we're gonna get our house painted in the next couple months. Because as you can see, do you see the trim? It's just due. It is time. Our house is like 10 years old now. So I wanted to show you guys what I'm thinking for pink colors and I would love your opinion. So I just wanted to show you guys because as we're falling in love with this house again, instead of moving, I think paint is the best bang for your buck, either inside or outside. And it can, can completely transform the way your home looks. So luckily for me, we have reasoning as well. Um, the shutters could use some paint, the actual house, everything's still wet, obviously from the rain, but everything could just use a good cleanup. Here's like the current color of our stucco. It's like a beigey color. It's not bad at all. I actually loved the color when we bought the house, but if we're gonna paint it, might as well do something a little different. I love showing you guys the plants and I showed you guys recently our Birds of Paradise. Here's where like our pool equipment is. It's back behind there. I'll keep you guys in. Can you see it back there? Um, and our air conditioning. And then we got our shed. And then we got like a little seating area. I've taken you guys out here before, but it's been a while. There's the pool. Everything's all pulled and tucked up underneath the patio right now because of the storm. But I think the worst of it is over. We could probably start pulling things back out. And then we're gonna have someone come in and then completely trim and groom all of this because it's just out of control from all the water <laughs> that we've been getting. My plume area is also um, dormant right now. So I can't wait for spring for that to come back. But it's a little update on the outside of the house since we always spend so much time inside the house. I thought you guys might like to hear that little update. It's been a couple weeks and I'm actually almost done with my first full box of Magic Mind. So I wanted to update you guys. And in case you've never heard of it, it's like a matcha based shot that you can take and it just helps like boost your energy and reduce stress and anxiety, which helps me out a lot. Um, I've really been enjoying it. So I just wanted to give you guys an update since I did share them a couple weeks ago. And I told you guys that I would be back with an update. I will have it linked down below for you guys, but I've really, really been enjoying it. Let me know if you guys ever ended up trying out Magic Mind for yourself down below in the comments. I thought I would mention that I throw on YouTube videos like I have here on my channel for myself all the time for motivation. So right here I thought I would shout out, this is Living with Cambria. Um, I love her, she's so relatable, she is so cute, she's a little Florida family, this is not a collab or anything, I just really do enjoy her channel and um, her video popped up as I was trying to get motivated to get up and get things done around the house and she was on in the background so just wanted to give Cambria a little shout out um, and now like I just kind of did a really basic straighten up in here I didn't even vacuum or wipe anything down I just wanted to straighten up the pillows and full blankets like I do 10 times a day every day but I'm finally getting to putting these throw pillows back out I had these over here prior to decorating for like fall and Christmas and stuff and somebody was like you should add a pillow over to that bench and I realized yes you're right I need to get those pillows back out um, and get those back out here. So went ahead and did that. 
Also wanted to show you guys little Ruger. He's over here snoozing away while I'm doing all the hard work. And look how cute the shelf came out. I think it's really coming together. So the other thing I really wanted to get done because we were going overnight down at the beach, I wanted to get this basket of laundry folded. That way I could get upstairs and pack my little weekender bag. I love doing a bunch of laundry before we go anywhere, even if it's just overnight, just because, you know, we need options and I need 10 outfits to look at in order to just pack one. So anyways, I have so much to do still this day and we need to get on the road. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. Like and subscribe if you guys haven't done so already. I will also have Justine's channel linked down below in the description box. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye friends. Treatment is this what it feels like when